The circuit looked lush and green ahead of the two segments of qualifying. It was to be a race between each driver and the incoming weather system. Heavy rain expected at any moment. Not taking part, Miki Ciruti and her revised Alfa Romeo, who damaged her engine in free practice. Whilst there was also concern for Stefano Camini, heavy work on his car as the time ticked towards the session start. Yeah, we had some issues in, uh, in free practice and uh, we found something with the gearbox, a problem, and uh, now the guys are, are doing an incredible job. In only 50 minutes, they, they are quite finished. I hope to start the session before the wet and uh, to, uh, to be able to uh, entry in uh, Q2. Out on track, a rush to register a time to qualify into Q2. With 14 cars on track, it shouldn't have been hard. But David Kajaya dropped his Liqui Moly team Engsler into the gravel trap, causing a red flag. Cold tyres were Kajaya's downfall. Also with an issue, James Nash looking to miss out on Q2. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we did our drive through the pits like we planned, so we were on our own to do our towing practice. And as I uh, accelerated out of the pits, um, Something, something went with a, a clonk, like a drive shaft brake, and I uh, only had driving one wheels. With four cars in the pits, all 12 remaining cars would make it into Q2. Honda looking stronger than the weakened bamboo Luke Oil Armada. Then the rain came. Attila Tassi, the fastest man in Q1, could he repeat it in a soggy Q2? Conditions were changing on track all the time. Half dry, half wet, unknown grip for all. Jean-Carl Vinay was fast, pushing hard to register the second fastest time of the session. But he was bettered by local driver Harold Prochik. The Austrian, knowing the secrets of the Salzburg ring, to take pole ahead of Vinay and Pepe Oriola. Attila Tassi would end a great session P10, therefore pole for race two in Austria. Project's time, over three tenths faster than Janae, Oriola, Morbidelli and Jordi Oriola rounding out the top five. But West Coast had made an error. Queuing at the end of the pit lane is forbidden in TCR, so Morbidelli and Project would suffer penalties. Jean-Carl Vanet then on pole. And my lap was pretty good. Some other guys did mistakes and, uh, and we finished P2, so it was uh, perfect. And uh, now I heard the penalty of... Uh, of the pole sitter. I mean, it's not, I should have preferred to do the pole position on the track, but it's, it's a good news. We've been uh, not always uh, lucky the last uh, four events, so to get a bit of luck with the weather and with that, it's, uh, it's always good. Now, let's see tomorrow. I hope it's gonna maybe not rain, but to have a wet track for sure for how car, it's, it's better here. We are suffering a lot with top speed and, and we'll see, but no, it's pretty good news and a pretty good day for Leopold Racing and, and WRT and Volkswagen.